coordinator of landscape architecture program, I focus on linking the professional practice and academia or linking the theory to practice by involving the students in real landscape architecture projects and exposing them to the professional practice life. Here in this project, the landscape architecture program in the Department of Architecture and Interior Design has collaborated with the Southern Municipality, particularly Parks and Garden Department. The scope of this collaboration in this project was to involve the students in conducting landscape planning and design for a park or a garden proposed by the municipality that to fulfill the requirement of a design study course which is LNDA 310 in the first semester of the academic year 2021-2022. The description of this course is to design an urban landscape taking into account social needs, site conditions, and the environmental and technological aspects with emphasis on increasing green spaces, creating outdoor spaces with social activities, and meeting the sustainable agenda. Eldur Waterfront Park or Walkway in the Southern Governorate context was the proposed site and the result was a variety of creative concepts in 22 individual design projects proposed by the students for the same site and that meet the project objectives and the course intended learning outcomes. Okay. It was such a pleasure to guide the students of Landscape Design 3 during their journey in designing a Dur Waterfront project. I would like to acknowledge the, the municipality for giving us the opportunity to design a Dur Waterfront project. The site analysis part focused on many aspects such as ecological, climatical, analyzing the urban context, circulation, and accessibility. The students started the design process by taking into consideration the municipality's perceptions to create an attractive project for people from inside and outside Bahrain, as well as the ensuring the sustainability and the aspiration of the local community who lives in the area. All of this was incorporated in the design decisions of the students by taking privacy into account, uh, selecting durable and recyclable materials, using evergreen trees uh, and uh, for shading purposes and enhancing air quality. A door design studio was one of the most interesting projects ever, not only for me, but even for my student. Working on a real project with a real client, real land, facing real problem and challenges, will definitely prepare the student for their work life after their graduation. It will also enhance their critical analysis, their critical thinking and design skills. It was really good to see how they got excited and how they were committing to provide us with the best solution ever for this project. I'm really satisfied with my student work and I hope them all the best. Many thanks to Dr. Wafa and Madani for providing us with such a great opportunity, not only for the student, but even for me as an instructor. It was a truly significant opportunity for me to participate in designing a dual water front in jail. It was very interesting, challenging site to work on, and it was different from design one and two. That we've had to work more in detailed and realistic design on that stage and get the client feedback and work upon them. That was a truly making the experience more beneficial and rich. By understanding and analyzing the site, the client need and the surrounding, and the transcultural city concept of migration and the diversity, I developed a waterfront that emphasizes on Bahrain's treasure memory and highlight the integration between pearls and gold. It was an unforgettable experience. Many thanks for the coordinator and instructor and the Southern Municipality engineers and architect for showing their interest in our designs and our progress. Landscape Design 3 course remarks the urban waterfront. A dual waterfront was the chosen site. It was a very challenging experience as we had to critically reimagine the relationship between coastal landscapes and public space. The world, countries and cities are facing entirely new risks and environmental conditions. Resiliency, infrastructure and ecology are increasingly common terms. Landscape isn't about turning the space into an aesthetic site. It's about how to solve the existing problem in a way that serves the users and to turn the place 
to a citizens and tourist attraction center. Users seek a waterfront that is a place of public enjoyment. They want a waterfront where there is ample, visual and physical public access all day, all year to both, the water and the land. They also want a waterfront that serves more than one purpose. They want it to be a place to work and to live as well as a place to play. In other words, they want a place that contributes to the quality of life in all of its aspects, economic, social and cultural. And this is what I tried to accomplish through my journey in designing the waterfront, creating a site that would attract users to its flexible, modular system that enables spaces and places to overlap, change shape and form, to create new and diverse zones for different operations in a space. Working on Eldur Waterfront project was a very enjoyable experience. My concept for the design of the site is a traditional modern design that reflects the rich history of Bahrain. Special thanks goes to architect Dana and architect Ala from the southern municipality who were really helpful when it comes to explaining the elements found in the site as well as giving us valuable feedback. Overall, this experience has elevated my skills and taught me some valuable lessons.